to generate a flanger, we need to use del write tilde and del read for tilde. We need to specify a common name. So I'm going to use flanger and a maximum delay time. Then for the audio source, I'm going to use SF play one, which is the abstraction I made for a very simple yet super useful audio file player. You can check out the video I made about it. You can find it both on top here and in the video description below. The audio signal is then sent to the DAC. The audio file signal is sent also to the Delvrite. Then we are going to use an OSC tilde with control over the frequency of our modulation. So let's say from 0 to 10 and we can attach a label. So this is rate. Then we want to have control over the amount of rate. So this second number box, it's going to output values from zero to one and it's going to be rate depth. Then we add a plus tilde. And in this section, we are going to add a delay time variation. We use a number box, we connect it to a signal node because we are dealing with audio signals and here the maximum value is going to be 10. Now the signal is sent inside the del read 4. We are going to apply uh, one more multiplication node that this time it's going to send flanger send tilde flanger we use a number box normalized between zero and one well i can uh, set the maximum value to 0 0.98 otherwise with feedback at one we'll hear a too harsh feedback sound and here we can write feedback on top here we receive feedback instead of flanger rate. From this point, I want to have control on the overall uh, effect amount. So I'm going to multiply what's coming out of del, del read for by values normalized between zero and one. So zero no uh, flanger effect one hundred percent effect so this is our dry wet of course i forgot to add the main out it's really difficult to listen to a sound without having the proper gain set That's all for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed it, I invite you to give a like and subscribe to support the channel. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.